lord i am shiny okay what is up guys army it is your girl as the truth and i'm back at you again with another video and today i'm coming at you with an update for my progress in ag triple c which if you aren't familiar stands for adjutant general captain's career course so before i get into this i need you guys to go ahead and thumbs up this video and if you aren't already a part of Giz Army, my name is Leslie Latrice, as I said before, and I am, of course, the Giz Army Commander. And you all need to go ahead and subscribe. Of course, subscribe, join the gang, join the notification gang, you know what I'm saying, subscribe to my channel and ensure you are engaging in the comment section for this video because it is a live video i'll be answering questions that pop up in the video live feed so if you're watching this as after it goes live go ahead and turn that on so you can see um what questions are being asked as well as i'm just gonna going to provide you guys or you you ladies and gentlemen with an update also while i snack on some things because um for some reason i'm like more more hungry right now i don't know but um regardless i'm gonna give you guys this update on ag triple c so this is week two okay no it's actually uh i'm gonna come closer so i can see it's actually week three week three but i didn't do an update last week so i'm gonna break down last week a little bit tell you guys what i did and then i'm going to talk about this week it's almost the end of this week but last week we had four days so really only had four days last week of training and then four days this week well last week what was last week okay so last week we started messing with systems, huh? We started messing with, or we started to learn about the different systems used to track personnel readiness and personnel accountability. So we pretty much conquered four systems, um, top miss email poll data store and EDAS. When I tell y'all, these systems are, they're comp, not really, I won't say they're complex, but they're redundant in a sense because only certain, some systems um, only focus on the enlisted population. Some only focus on the officer population. The others have everybody, but only pull certain data. And then you got to go to another system because it only pulls that data. It's just a, a lot of different systems that pull different data. However, um, the Army is about to um, integrate IPSA, which is the new uh, integrated personnel something something system. I forgot what it's called, but it is going to be one system. Thank God. Remember, I got time to learn all these daggone systems. But it's going to be one system that pretty much has all the functions of all these other systems. In it so we only have to go to one database okay but nonetheless we learned about all of or we learned those learned about those systems as well as i'm sorry i thought something just fell honey i might have been tripping as well as did like practical exercises so that's really what week two of triple c consists of the gag is all this stuff is literally like Whew. it's a it's a process like learning how to navigate the system and even after going through all the classes i mean you obviously know you have to do this yourself like you have to practice on your own because it is very com i mean complex it's not hard but it takes memorization like otherwise you have to search for results and search for things and blah 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 and you don't really have that time on the test so speaking of tests the test isn't until two months from now. So you definitely have to go back and review this stuff because 
they're not they're not testing you on it right now so hey mama thanks for tuning in um they're not testing you on it right now so hey janita welcome back guys um so because be, so they're not testing on you right now but throughout like different courses or, or excuse me different classes they are teaching within the class um you you start doing more practical exercises with the systems so you kind of get familiar because you're using them while you learn about other like other um aspects of personnel readiness so i mean i essentially just wish they would give the test right after we learned the system but i i guess i kind of understand what they're what they're getting at so that we kind of uh start creating like a second hand to it all so boom that was week two in a nutshell also with ag triple c or with our instructor she wants us to give classes so there's a i don't even know like 55 something odd briefings that we have to do as a team because they broke us down into three different teams there's like 46 of us three different teams three different instructors and each team has to um each team has to go through all of these like common courses that teach us about why we do certain things what what about personnel management what fees in the personnel information management like why is it so important blah 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 things like that that um so we teach these classes but our instructor has us facilitate the classes or excuse me our instructor has us teach the class while she facilitates it so we get you know experience with teaching as well as like briefing and speaking and blah 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 i saw your question ag triple c is adjutant general captain's career course it's a school that i must attend in order to um i wouldn't say in order to pin captain but you need to complete this school before you can get credit for uh, any of your other jobs after or any of your other key leader positions within that specific rank and branch so i have to do career course before i become a battalion s1 in order to get credit for that specific position if that makes sense so um i, I can't remember I left okay so i have to do five or six of those briefs so it'll give me experience on like um lesson plans speaking in front of people um or in front of an audience you know and then i actually learn what i'm teaching so there is a plus um okay so i have to do those my brief is next week honey so i can't wait to update y'all on that it's on a monday so everybody's gonna be in the mood because we can just pass now we got a whole week of school so i'm gonna have to make this thing super fun but i think i can do it you know look i got it so my brief is next week this week we kind of finished up top miss which is the system personnel management system um and then we worked on um, our country briefs that were assigned to us um we worked on those which is essentially the country brief is essentially us using um a particular army design army army design mythology to plan operations so uh we we, we we're assigned a country and then we take certain aspects or we research certain aspects of that country that um we feel like would directly affect operations or our operation within that particular country and then kind of like it kind of gives the commander an idea of the operational environment so that's what we're doing that's what i worked on yesterday i worked on the information paper yesterday 
and then today we did a, another brief another class and i was the uh assistant instructor assistant instructor for that class and i thought it was really cool um so it got, kind of gave me a taste on what this is going to be like when i'm the primary instructor um for the class so we did that and then tomorrow we're gonna we're, um we talk about strength strength reporting and it's gonna be like the same kind of briefing um same kind of briefing thing and that's really what happened this week it was short week tomorrow's friday friday so i'm excited about it any questions Do you guys have any questions about week two and week three go ahead and pop them up there but as far as it being hard um right now i just kind of feel like i have to get adjusted to going to school again prioritizing doing my homework and blah 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 because it is a school like people fail to realize like you when you get off at 1700 like it's not like work it's not like work stops even then work doesn't stop but like with school you have to like take time to apply yourself outside of uh the classroom it's the same thing it's the same if you have a college degree or you're pursuing a degree it's the same thing you get assigned assignments you got to do briefs only difference with this school and civilian school is that this school is a military school so everything we're doing is in relation to the military and it is going to set us up for success for whenever we do um do do our jobs so next week i'm going to be um i am going to do the oh i'm going to do the video my video my video was going to be about my duty station because branch comes next week and they are going to tell us where we're getting stationed next y'all i'm so nervous like i'm so anxious to figure out where i'm going to be stationed but my appointment to hear from branch is on 30 january at 1300 is when i will officially know where i could be placed because those placements can change hey girl those placements can change like i mean i know people whose orders changed a month before they even left before they even went to the duty station they were supposed to go to like they can change just like that so i find out next week where i'm gonna be stationed at and then i will update you guys same day so y'all can get full-blown giz army commander reaction mm. does your group meet after hours to get our homework projects ready for the next day um most of our most of our assignments are individual but um we do have some group assignments for instance this country brief is a group assignment and we are meeting we 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 do meet after hours and we do meet at lunch sometimes but just recently today i found out we're meeting on saturday i don't prefer my weekends to be touched because i can stay after work on a weekday i can stay at lunch there's time where uh we can work on this project this project isn't due for another two weeks so we're meeting on saturday i don't particularly like it but you know it is what it is i i do not like my weekends touched like i really don't there's time in the week to do what we need to do i just but i'm not gonna go into a tangent about it so yes we do meet after hours to include weekends <laughs> of course we're so cool oh, 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 oh. hmm Y'all have any more questions? Um, I'm gonna give you about two minutes, two minutes to ask any questions that you may have. I'm sorry, y'all can see the food in my mouth. That's just, we'll just put this down. It's not professional. 
but I did slack today on drinking my water, so I have to get with it. Two minutes, probably down to like five minutes. I mean, not five minutes, I'm in a hurry. How many ounces is that big bottle? 40, 40. I'm pretty sure I should probably have two of these a day or something, but I only do one. And I think I, I'll hydrate enough like my, you know, the test, the urine test. I'm pretty good, it's, it's all right. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And tomorrow we have CrossFit for PT, yes. I don't know what that means. I'm an army officer. I'm an army human resources officer. And I'm a lieutenant promotable. I don't know if y'all ever noticed, but like I have glasses marks. Do y'all see that? I hate them. I should go to a dermatologist because that, ugh, it's annoying. And it's because of the army. Because I went to Kuwait and I wore a freaking eye pro like I was supposed to do. And permanently gave me this pigmentation across my nose. <laughs> so hurtful. I don't like it. Any questions? Any? Whew. I'm gonna shut this thing down at, at 18 minutes. I got things to do, but I'd rather be talking to you. I bet you learned talking. Can't force that, you know? CrossFit tomorrow, Lord. Oh, child, I'm, I hope you follow me on Instagram because I'm probably going to express myself after that. I don't got time to edit a video on CrossFit. It's not something that interests me. But I'm sure they're going to kill me. I just know it. And it's led by an actual CrossFit instructor. So I'm, <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'm nervous to say the least. Okay, guys. It's been real. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure if you are watching this video, not in this live session, or if you have any more questions after I close this live, that you comment them below and I'll do a Q&A or something of that nature to respond. Be sure to turn your ringer, excuse me, your notifications on. Just click that ringer. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. Guess our me, Commander. <laughs> and, um... What else? Thumbs up this video. I know some of you should already have thumbs up because you've been here before. You know what I'm saying? Thumbs up. Thank you guys. Um, but I will uh I will see you guys next week on live. Next week on live, I will see you all again. But I'm uploading the video tomorrow. It is a natural as hair video, but all it gets army should be down with me, you know? Y'all should be down. So just watch that too and comment, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm uploading tomorrow. I'll probably upload again on Sunday. It just depends if I have time to edit this weekend. But I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'll see you guys on my next upload next week. It is your girl, Lisa Trees. And as my 2019 saying goes, protect your...